This show is part of the RetroZap.com podcast network. Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash brews and blasters. There's over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Hello, this is Mess Mikkelsen from Star Wars Rogue One, and you are listening to Bruce and Blasters. Thank you very much. Here we go. You're listening to Bruce and Blasters, RetroZap.com's free-ranging discussion about all things Star Wars. How are we doing? Same as always. That bad, huh? With your hosts, Chris and Joe, two guys from Boston who are talking about this stuff anyway. Pokey religions and ancient weapons are no match for a good blast church or side kid. Let us go inside where we can discuss business over a drink. What conversation anyway? This place can be a little rough. Not good. I don't like this. This is madness. Would you join me for a little refreshment? Everyone's invited, of course. I think you overestimate their chances. No, not really, no. Listen. You will never find the more wretched hive of scum and villainy. We must be cautious. Yeah, that's how we're starting it tonight. <laughs> oh. You're sick. You're a sick man, by the way. <laughs> no, no. Oh, yeah. Never. No, 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 no. Oh, man, it's all true, though. <laughs> Welcome back, guys, to Brews and Blasters, RetroZap.com's free-ranging discussion about all things Star Wars. My name is Joe, and joining me today, the one, the only, the undaunted, the incomparable, Chris Salton. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Hey, what's up, man? Hey, hey! Hey, guess what? What's the up? Star Wars party begins now. Wow. What's up, man? Uh, not too much. Yeah, you know, uh, I love these nights. You know, the the ladies are the ladies are out in the room. Yeah, they're they're, 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 they're watching a movie. They're eating popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> they're watching. They're watching a good. Good. Take me home tonight. Great movie. Great good, movie. Mo- great movie. Yeah. Get that uh, that fanboys cast in there. Honestly, um, if you guys haven't seen this movie, go take check me it home out. tonight. Yeah. It starts off at Suncoast Motion Picture Company. Yeah. And if you know what that is, you're. I'm, I was like, I'm sold. I remember that. Yeah, I'm like, I'm sold. Mm-hmm. You know, like that, that. That's it right there. I bought some VHS there. I, yeah, yeah. I bought, I bought some VHS. I bought some CDs. Cassettes. Cassingles. Cassing. We, Dude, I remember second, Cassingles. Yeah, second second week in a row, we're talking about Cassingles. Cassingles. Yeah, Cassingles. It's, <laughs> it's a thing. It that was a thing. Yeah. You could buy singles on cassette. Yeah, it was crazy. I actually had like a stack of them. Really? Yeah, they were like a couple bucks, whatever. Yeah. You know? Good st- good times. Yeah. Good times. Yeah, so speaking of Star Wars, we're the one and only Bruise and Blasters. The uh, never never imitated, never uh, never replicated Bruise and Blasters. And uh, yeah, we're, we're here to bring you a week of, of week of fun. We're just hanging out. We're having a good time. I got to tell you guys, the best part of the night's already been had. We, we've, we've been... We've been We've been rolling for a while now. We're having a good time. It's having, been a while. Yeah. Having some sippy sips. Sippy sips. You know? Had 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 a few. We're, we're hooked on this stuff. I yeah. This is good stuff. Yeah, the spike seltzer. Yeah. It's good stuff. You have to stay hydrated. You know, I gotta tell you, I, I've been I've been cutting back on the Red Bull. Oh yeah, you have to. <laughs> yeah. No. Like le- legit, Joe. You, you, you gotta cut back. 
No, I mean that stuff can't be good for you. It's I like low, don't know. I've never. It up. I, there's been nothing ever substantiated. I, I don't know. If something can give you wings, <laughs> don't drink it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> All I know is that I, I was drinking a lot of it, and I was getting hit. He- you know, like it, when you don't have caffeine, sometimes like people get headaches. Yeah. I was gonna headache because it was I had too much caffeine. See, that happens. I don't. I'm not a coffee guy. And no? when I drink coffee. I shake, I get a headache. And oh, I, no, I wish. I'm that, out that, of my that's, element. You know? That's fantastic. Yeah, I know. I, the, the, gone are those days for me, my friend. Those those were the good good old days. Yeah, I mean, that that's why, like, and you're, it wasn't the small cans. You were going, you are pounding the big cans. Well, my, my, my job, my job subsidizes the Red Bull. So I, I pay a fraction. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I could, I could, like. I never have to worry about my Red Bull supply. Oh, not for nothing. They came out with different kinds. Do they have all of those? No, no, no. They, d- they just got my sugar free. Oh, okay. As much of as, as I need at any point in time. Yeah. So it it's kind of a match made in heaven right there. But, uh, you know, it, it, it's been getting a little too much. And I've been, you know, I switched to the cold brew coffee. Now, that that's... I fell in love with that like two years ago. People are just catching on to it now. Cold brew. The cold brew. Mm-hmm. It's it's delicious. It's like uh. silk. Uh, yes, yes, yes. And uh, I love it in the summer. It's, it's good stuff. I drink a black. Nice. Yeah, I mean, it's so good. You don't have to worry about like putting any milk or anything in it. Yeah. It's, it's so good. It's good enough. Yeah, it, it's 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 you, the best coffee you'll ever drink. You put sugar in this? No. It's the best iced coffee. It's so... You just pour it iced? Or is it just ice. already cold? Yeah, it's cold. Cold brew. Cold, you know? and then you super cold it with ice cubes? No, you don't. You could. You could. Yeah, cold brew. You know? It's it's made cold. It, it stays cold the entire time. It's it's the best ice. It's the best way to drink coffee in the world. Okay? I, I kind of want to try it. I'll, I can make some here. I got some. I got, I got oh, a you, cold you, brew system here. You have it? Oh, yeah, I could. I could make it. It takes like 12 hours to make, but I could... Oh, I my could, God. Yeah. I, 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 maybe I'll bring some over. We can go get some. I know... I'm, Atomic Cafe in Beverly does amazing, amazing really? cold brew. Yeah, they got this nitro, maybe like liquid nitrogen. Really? Oh, it looks like a Guinness when you get it. Oh my God, cool. Yeah, we got to go get some. Hey, I'm in for this. You get, you, you, hey, well, you know, we're, ha- we're going to be having a little shindig. You're going to get the sweeps, the bleeps. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get all of that when you, when you drink. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's that's going to be you when, when you have this nitro, I got to tell you. Yeah, you're gonna be up for days. Yeah. <laughs> or you that I'm gonna crash hard. <laughs> yeah, that, that was me like the next the next day after last episode because I got we I think we were the very first Rogue One reaction. You know that scene from Roger Rabbit? <laughs> Every like, scene? No, when he's like <laughs> when he's like losing his mind. Yeah. It's like that. You know that scene after like like Christopher Lloyd got like flattened? Yeah. Yeah, that was like me the next day after we recorded because we were up so late. Dude, he looks so insane. Yeah. yeah was, was... That's a great movie. Hey. We gonna... haven't seen that. I haven't seen that movie in a we long time. We have to time. put that on the commentary. Dude, I got a really nice DVD like box set. Yeah. And it comes with like their, uh, like these, um, what's it called? Like headshots. It's okay. like Roger Rabbit. It's black and white. Like Why a... do you do the DVD still? I don't want you go into oh, the Blu-ray. Well, this came... Was this a while ago? This was a while ago, yeah. Okay, okay. I, I mean, I buy Blu-rays now. Understood. Understood. I'm right. I'm writing down the movies now. Yeah, Roger Rabbit, definitely. Who framed Roger? What a weird movie that was. Patty Cake. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and and Take Me Home Tonight. That's how we started. Oh, definitely, definitely that movie. Hey, what do you think the the Star Wars conversations were like between Fogler and uh, Topher Grace on, on that set? Oh, epic. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they were, you know? They were great. He was probably like, I really wish I was in Fanboys. And, <laughs> and then Dan Fogel was like, it was a great time. It was the best time of my life. You know, I'm, I'm he, not going to lie he, to you. He got that Harry Potter money now, though. Yeah, but I'm, 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 I'm not going to lie. Like, if I was an actor and I was in that type of movie, talk about having fun from, like, morning till night. That movie looks like glory days. It looks yeah. like everyone in that movie were having the time. They don't get the money. They don't get the fame yet. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe a couple people in the movie have fame, but, like, they're coming up. They all know they're coming up. Yeah, they're known people, but, but they're coming up. They're coming up. And, and this is the movie where they're just, they're having the, the best time of their lives outside. Yeah. And it shows on camera. It does. It really does. It's I, 
don't remember how many times I watched that movie, and it never gets old. It never will get old. No, it won't. You want to know why? Because we care, Joe. We care. We care. Yeah. It's important. It is. Yeah. That is, it's a very important movie. I quote that movie when he's like, I care. Yeah. When he's quoting Luke. Right. (laughs) (laughs) Who knows, you know? I care. I care. (laughs) That's your sister, man. (laughs) (laughs) They were siblings. (laughs) <laughs> if you guys haven't seen Fanboys, you should go check out Fanboys movie 2008? Eight or nine. I'm Kyle not sure. Newman, Ernest Klein. Honestly? Yeah. Just go buy the go DVD. Buy it. Go buy Blu-ray, it. Blu-ray, whatever. Just buy it. If you're, if you're listening to this, you should you should know Fanboys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, let's... Uh, hold on, hold on. Oh, hey, before we uh, get into anything... Okay, yeah, big announcement, yeah. No, 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 um... <laughs> I absolutely love when you go on the Bruise and Blasts Twitter page, right? Yes. It's just a picture of Bill and Ted like this. <laughs> Dude, it's like my favorite thing. I love that. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's pretty good. Yeah. That's that's actually like the evil Bill and Ted robots. Oh, right. Yeah. From Bill and Ted 2. Yeah. But, you know, it's pretty good. <laughs> oh, it's great, too, because like I look at it, I'm like, this is us. Like, that's this, it. This is what we do. This is it. This is what, we, this is what yeah. we've chosen to do. <laughs> Our 6 to 11, this is it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I wouldn't have it any other way. No, me either. Cheers. Yeah, sippy sip. Sippy sip. You know, I, I, I cracked this at the beginning of the show. Haven't, uh, haven't poured it out yet. Yeah, that wasn't a sound clip. That was live. Yeah, that was live. Let's do this. I mean, this isn't a bottle. I don't know if you guys could hear this. No, I don't think they can hear this either, but it's pouring. It's pouring. Ooh, that did, was good. Did you hear that? That was a good bottle clip, yeah. Sippy sip. Jeez. What's <laughs> happening over there? Like, that actually sprayed over here. Did it? Did you get it? That was a little meaty, yeah. Star Wars. Yeah, so speaking of Star Wars. <laughs> Alright, actually... A bit, of, a bit of housekeeping here. You know, we have the, we have the new RetroZap site totally, totally redone here. And, uh... You know, we decided we, we need some new blood. We need some people. We need some people coming in. We're, we're looking for people to join the team. You know? We, we're looking for people to join the team. So, retrozap.com slash join. You want, you want to write? You want to, you want to join the team? We have a good time. We have a lot of fun. You know? It is the place to be. And yeah. the website is looking pretty stunning. Thank you, sir. Thank you. A lot of work went into that. I bet it did. A lot of nights with the uh, the hosting provider. Yeah. <laughs> Customer support. Uh, yeah, we're looking for writers. We're looking for, you know, people do f- uh, photography. We're looking for artists. We want to promote that work, too. Yeah. We, we want people to join that team. We're, we're looking for people who do video, you know? The you art know? is very important. We want people. We want, like, if you're an artist and you want to show off your work, we're, we want to be your place. We're still waiting for the paper mache heads of me and Joe. <laughs> I'm going to wear his head and he's going to wear mine. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, we, you know, we're not really looking to like assign people stuff. Like you got good work, but you know, the paper mache heads are, are, are always, are always good too. Um, you know, if, if you think your podcast would be a good fit for the RetroZap family, you know, uh, you know, go, go to RetroZap.com slash join and uh, check it out. Could be cool. I don't know. Sounds we'll great. There you go. There you go. Now's your opportunity, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, I don't know. It's uh, I don't know how to do this next part. Not not hundred percent sure. It's uh, it's a little it's a little weird. So last 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 weekend, some real some real stuff happened. You know, it wasn't it wasn't great. It wasn't great. And uh, Kenny Baker, Kenny Baker passed away. Yeah, this was a heavy hit to all of us. Yeah, yeah, it it really. It really hit hard. Um, it hit harder than I thought. I mean, not not like I was thinking about it, but it, but it hit a lot harder than I, I even imagined it ever could. Right. You know, like Kenny. Kenny's eight. He was eighty two. You know, his family said that. You know, they they had known you. you it, it 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 was it was coming at some point. He lived a full life. Uh, by all by all accounts, great guy. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. I met him twice. Absolute pleasure. He was funny. Um, all around great guy. Absolute pleasure. Yeah, tell me about that. Tell me tell me, tell me about, about me and Kenny Baker. Oh, it was a... Honestly, it was a dream come true because at first, I didn't think he was going to be able to come to the States and then he decided to come to the States 
and I met him both times at Celebration, uh, yeah. six and seven, and uh, I had him sign posters, and we talked a little bit, and it, it was a really great moment that I will never forget. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, think about it. We grew up with Kenny Baker. We grew up with R2-D2. He was one of our favorite droids. Oh, my gosh. I mean, what Kenny did for Star Wars is cannot be overstated. He's one of the first people that you see in Star Wars. He's he's R2-D2. Right. And he brings to life that character in a way no one else even imagined could be done. Right. I mean, robots before Star Wars were these stiff, inhuman things. And the work that he and Anthony Daniels did is, is huge to, to humanize and bring it to life. And Kenny, uh, Kenny Baker did it without, uh, without a voice. Yeah. He did it entirely by his acting ability, his ability to move. His, he made you feel w- what that character feel, felt, and, and he made you understand what that character was trying to do just by what he was moving and shuffling yeah. around and he, he brought this this whimsy and life to the character that 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 is amazing yeah he was a master at his trade for he, sure he he was a master he brought r2 to life he was the soul as far of, as, of that droid as far as i'm concerned he's r2 forever oh yeah you know Every time you see R2, you think of Kenny Baker. So. Some, some of the, the, the memorials and eulogies and uh, write-ups didn't even show his face. They just showed R2-D2, which is kind of weird. But, I mean, it was he, he was the soul of this character. And all of the droids that you see that don't talk in Star Wars are all taking a tip from, from, right. from Kenny Baker and his work mm-hmm. uh, with, with R2-D2. I mean, he, he, it cannot be overstated how much of a of an impact his work had on this entire film. Mm-hmm. I mean, huge. Yeah, Star Wars without R two D two. Yeah. I, no. who, what is that? Yeah. Or or just a stiff, boring droid. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't know what that is. I don't know. You know, right. who who didn't connect with R two when they were a kid? Right. Exactly. Well. Star, you hear Star Wars, you just think R two and C three PO. That's like it's it's one of the first Boom. things that comes to mind. Who doesn't still have their their R two from from when they were a kid? Everybody has their lucky R two. I have R two D two on my desk every day at work. I look at him. My first R two was right over there, right next to Boba Fett and Salacious Crumb. Right. Look at him. There he is. Glorious. Yeah, yeah. The New York. Did, I showed you the New Yorker article. Yeah. yeah uh, that, not that, the article. That, the, the 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 um the comic. Yeah. That uh. It's. That heavy. heart. Very heavy. Yeah. It, it, it was like, it, it's it's just Luke and C-3PO and they're looking at R2 like something's wrong. Yeah. And the cat, all the caption is, is just, uh, what, what is it? It's right here. He says he feels empty inside. Yeah. I mean, like, like the actual droid far, far away actually heard it. Mm-hmm. You know, felt, felt the loss. I mean, right. it's, it's huge. Um, I, I was just sitting there in shock. Like. We we knew Kenny was an old he was he was is an old man yeah. he, he he lived a full life and he, he but I don't think anyone was ever prepared for one of the main cast to really go yeah it was um it felt like it felt like really reckoning our own mortality yeah it was a shot in the uh, gut for me because we just got out of the movie theater and yeah I what did you go say uh, sausage party. Okay, well, yeah, okay. That, that's a, a story for another time. But, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I look at my phone just to check the time, and I open it to your text, yeah, telling me that Kenny passed. Yeah, and I all I did was oh, no. oh, and Alexa was like, "What happened?" And I was like, "Kenny Baker," and she's like, "Oh," and we, we're we shared that equal sadness, you know. And yeah, when I go home, I'm surrounded by I do. I have yeah. I have a picture with him. I have autographs. I have a life-size R2-D2. I have figures everywhere. I know. R2's everywhere in my house. Of, you can't... Yeah, he's there. It's part of it. Right. You know? And, and it, it's just thinking about what what it represents for one of the... You know, I feel like it, it, he's one of the main... One of the main cast. Yes, we've lost people from the original Star Wars before. But... Kenny Baker was one of the first people to actually rise up to to be one of the 
the the young and up and coming cast right. from from Star Wars. I, I I know we've lost Peter Cushing. I know we've lost Alec. Guinness. These were already established actors mm-hmm. at that time, you know, and it, it's it's a little different when when they they have they were already established. Star Wars was another work they did. Right. Kenny Baker was 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 part of Star Wars. He was someone that is indelibly tied to that in a way that uh, someone whose career was already established couldn't be. Right. You know, he was part of that, that uh, he's part, I don't know. He's part of that soul of Star Wars that uh, only a few actors really could be like, you know, Mark Hamill and Carrie Fisher and Harrison Ford, Peter Mayhew, Mm -hmm. um, even David Prowse, right? Right. Like these are people who are, uh, they made their career based on what, what Star Wars was. Right. And I, I, this is the this is really the first of of, of that that generation of actors Absolutely. to go. Yeah. We grew up, we grew up with these people. These were our these were our people, and, and Star Wars felt like a new hope for a new generation, right? I mean, the the movie rep- was a symbol for that. Yeah, I am totally right there with you. I mean, <sighs> like you're saying, you know, he was in all six films. Five, you know? I think. I think he did five. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was in all six. Okay. Um, but you know something, but that that's the thing though. Like what I was saying, like you see R2, there's Kenny. Yeah. You know, and now it's there's a sadness now when you look at R2. I suppose so. You, I mean well, there, we don't want that, but rejoice at the same time. There's there's you know, a like, there's a loss. You know you know there's something empty now. I mean you, you know that the, I feel like Star Wars has taken a step it, you know I, 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 it's hard to put into words that it, it, it's taken a, a, another step into becoming something more legendary and more than just the span of, of, of one one person's lifetime. Right. You know, the, the I hate I, I, I hate the fact that that the people are are are, are gone that actually right. were integral in the in the, the the core of these of these movies. But it, you know, that's what happens, right? Yeah. I mean, let's put it this way: when we see R two roll on the screen in Episode Eight, that's that's when it's gonna like really, really like really hit you. Yeah, you know what I mean? You, man, you're killing me. Yeah, it's true. So, it's true. Um, I mean, I think I think what makes it so powerful too is that Kenny was was one of the he was one of the the the, the main arms that outstretched in Star Wars to the fan community ever, ever since the beginning. He he was one of the people that people all always met. He was always a mainstay at conventions. He loved meeting the fans. He loved meeting people who admired his work just just to meet him. I right. mean, he he was just such a, such a guy. Never a bad thing said about him. Never, no, never, no. People loved it. They they loved meeting him. He's going to be he, deeply missed by and everybody. He, and he loved and he loved the, the you know he loved he loved his the crowd too. Um. Peter Mayhew had something really, uh, you know, re- really profound to say. Uh, they they were they were very very close friends. Yeah, they were tight. Yeah, I mean, they went to a lot of uh, a lot of conventions together. They they you know they they knew each other for a long time. So let me let me just see here uh, what what he did. Um, he he wrote something and it, it just cut to the core. You know, Peter said it's Chewbacca dot com. I love that. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. He writes, I know I'm a bit late with this, but my sadness is profound and no words seem adequate to convey what we collectively and I personally have lost with the passing of my dear friend, Kenny Baker. Kenny Kenny and I became fast friends the first time we met and formed a lifelong bond after realizing that we had so much in common. Although people like to contrast the difference in our heights, we found we shared many of the same struggles from finding clothes, driving cars, fitting in airplane seats to health issues, and the ever-constant stares of strangers. We understood each other on a level that few others can. I am so very glad I got to spend time with him in London earlier this month. Do you remember that photo? Oh, yeah. Yeah, recently. Yeah. The two of them, and they, they just looked happy to, to be hanging out. Right, they went to a, the premiere, right? It, it was last month. I, I don't know if it was a premiere of anything. I'm pretty sure that, well, I mean, I know that they're at the premiere of Force Awakens together. Yeah, so. no, this, this was literally last month. They, oh, they really? were hanging out at a, at, a, at a, I think it was a convention. Um, oh, sweet. Yeah, and they were just having a good time being or well, hanging around. Was it Celebration? It might have been. It might have been. 
Um, okay, here, here it is. His talent and his wicked sense of humor never diminished even as his health, as his health did. Ever the showman, Kenny was always eager to meet his fran fans. In the decades we knew each other, I never met anyone who enjoyed the public more. For all the joy he brought the world on screen and off, I give my thanks and a final farewell to my little friend with a giant heart who's gone too soon. Yeah. Rest in peace, Kenny. Well, that was well said. Peter Mayhew is an eloquent guy. Yeah. Gentle giant. I mean, really. Just just an eloquent, eloquent writer. Um, if you ever read anything that he's ever written, I mean, really, it, he's, he's a great writer. I really, I have to say. Um, wow, that, that, I mean, it, it, it hit. Yeah. But, you know, in, in times like this, it's always good to remember the good, too. It's always remember, you know, we don't want to dwell on... Well, he leaves us with this beautiful body of work that he did. You I know. know. And, I, I mean, all I could really say is thank you so much, and he'll never be forgotten. No. And... I mean, we, we can always smile when we think of Kenny, well, right? Well, that's the thing. When I see Atu from this point on, this guy, yeah. you know, I'm going to be like... This He's is the one with the force. Music for this, <laughs> you know, like you know what I mean. You're gonna smirk and be like, "He's one with the force now." Exactly. You know, hey, Kenny, this one's for you, buddy. Hey everybody, it's me, Jim Cummings, uh, and you are listening to Brews and Blasters. And as my dear friend Honda Onaka would say, don't forget to remember to watch these guys and listen to their words. They are multi-wise. I'm talking about Chris and Joe. Now hand over the psyllium and nobody has to get hurt. What's up, Chris? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> All right, dude. Got to talk about Audible.com here. Audible. Audible. Audiobooks. Good stuff, right? The books that are audi audible read. <laughs> <laughs> For listeners of Bruce and Blasters, Audible is offering a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial free. to give you the opportunity to check out their service. It's audiobooks and they're free. 30 days free audiobooks. We, did, we did that for you. you know, we worked it out. For you. It was it was a dark night. We went to a warehouse. We we, <laughs> we we talked we talked with them. You know, I'm not saying things happened, but you know, it was it was it was like that that movie. Yeah, we wore suits. There were suits. There were, there, we brought we brought heavies in. Yeah, you know, we're out in forces. Hey, we bought tree cannolis. Tree tree tree. Make the H out. <laughs> you know, and and we worked this deal out. You can check out uh, you can check out Life out, Life Debt by Chuck Wendig. You can go Splinter of the Mind's Eye if you want. You can check out check out a ton of books. Star Wars books. Dark Disciple. Dark Disciple if you want. Yeah, Darth go Plagueis. Darth Plagueis. Yeah, you can go back there if you want to. You know? The options are endless. You can check out you can check out the the radio dramas. You could. They're on there. Yeah. Or any other audiobook you want. You want to check out Moby Dick, it's on there. I just got done reading Children of Dune on the Dune cast. You know? You can check it out, whatever you want. True that. Go to audibletrial.com slash bruisingblasters. There's over 180,000 titles, so you know, whatever. audibletrial.com slash bruisingblasters for your free audiobook. It's books. 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 <laughs> All right, we're back. Oh, you want, you want to you, do that? You haven't done it in a while. I, it's true. It's true. Shut it down. <laughs> and we're back. Nice. This is good? Yeah, you left out like uh, at least like four episodes now. 
of and we're back. I, I, it's more like like fourteen. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're losing it. We're not doing and you're back. We're not doing genius. Is it genius, genius? I don't even know what we said. <laughs> yeah, we used to do that. I thought it that. was like wonderful, wonderful. No, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> wonder, <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, high society came in and everything else got shoved out the window. Oh, that's true. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> 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 Uh, Beef Wellington. Beef Wellington. <laughs> oh, hey. You know what's funny? Uh, someone someone asked today, does Crystal Lime like Crystal Pepsi? And I'm like, well, we got to ask him. Hey. <coughs> Sorry. Wow. Wow. Oosh. Is uh, Crystal Pepsi that Claire Pepsi? The Claire Pepsi from I the 90s. I thought somebody was joking with me and they filled it with no, it's, water. It's back. The it's joke's back. on me, Joe. Yeah, the, the joke joke's is on me. Isn't it always well, though? What does it taste like? Hey, Acto Cool is back too. Hey, I, I, I want that. Yeah, yeah, I want to try that. I want that. Yeah, I want this. That we're gonna put that on the Needham got him. Really? Yeah. Have you got, have you got any? No, I haven't had any. Yet. <laughs> hey, 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 we gotta em. get it. Gotta need them. Yep. Yep. So yeah, we we gotta ask Crystal Lime if he likes Crystal Pepsi. You know? Hey and, man! Oh, he's back! I don't like that stuff, man. Oh, Crystal Pepsi, what are you doing? Why didn't you like it? Nah. Yo, Crystal, it's Crystal, it's good. It's different. Get out of here, Crystal <laughs> Live. We don't like you. Oh, he was no good. He was no good. Whatever happened to that guy? He's I, always doing something. He came back and it, it, Yeah, no. It, it, he's never he never brings what we want. Yeah. You know? He's not the same. <laughs> Ever since the storm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know what's great about that sound clip of Jim Cummings? Mm? Is uh, I remember that very clearly. Yeah. At Rhode <laughs> Island Comic Con. Yep. And so me and Joe, Joe had the recorder and we yes. were talking to him and he got done saying that and me and Joe fast walked away like, <laughs> yeah, like, like if we were eight years old. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. It, <laughs> it was great. Yeah. The, the face while he was doing it. Yeah. We were like, ooh. <gasps> It was like one of those, like, oh my god, he's doing yeah, it! Yeah, and he was like a super cool guy. We, like, this is how I, I feel like when we like ask people to record like a bumper for Bruising Blasters, I always feel like it's gonna be like, hey, I uh, played a rock and uh, you're listening nah. to Bruising Blasters. Nah. Yeah. Like that, I, I feel like people care that little, right. so that's what we're gonna get. So like, no, he brought it. He brought it. He brought. He brought it. You know. I feel like he upped the game. So now we get like A-listers like Mads Mikkelsen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We got that. We got Greg Grunberg. Greg you know, Grunberg. Who's on, who's on Kevin Smith's new show. Yeah. Geeking out. Make sure you guys watch that. It's on Sunday, AMC, right? Sunday's night. Sunday night. Sunday's night. <laughs> yeah. Sunday's nights <laughs> at uh, 12 o'clock. AMC. Yeah. yeah. Not endorsed at all. But yeah. you know, whatever. Whatever. We're doing that. And when your lips get trapped, make sure you use Blistex. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have time to talk about laundry detergent? <laughs> <laughs> Zang. No, but seriously, uh, yeah, these guys are great. You know, yeah, uh, yeah Greg Grumberg, yeah. Mads. I mean, and th this yeah. is... Yeah, the listeners. Yeah, this is pretty exciting. This is It's pretty exciting. Yeah, it's it's great stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that all goes back to Adam Parker. Well, I mean, he's, I was, he's, he's awesome. I was going to say, thank you so much, because... Yeah. Uh, it, it, our, our man in the UK. Yeah, it's always a surprise, because I get these great texts from Joe, and you're like... Oh man! Oh, you, check you, this out. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and I'm yeah. like, oh man, who is it now? Saturday yeah. afternoon, right? I get something to show you <laughs> <laughs> with my ears, right? Yeah, mm. but you made me wait. Them. You made me wait for the mat, the, uh, the mat. Yeah, yeah I mean, because uh, I was like, dude, it's not working. You're like, I'll just show you next week, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. Mic drop, like you, you disappeared. I was like, Joe, send it again. No, you. <laughs> yeah. I went to a farmer's market. Yeah. <laughs> you, you didn't respond. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't working. Right. It wasn't working. You know? Hey, so uh, John Williams starting work on episode eight. How exciting is this? It's crazy, man. Yeah. I'm so excited about that. Yeah, does he start like next month or something I think like he's that? already doing it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I would, I would think and I would like to think that he's just going to do the original, you know, the trilogy, you know? I, you know, I, he's going, he's going, you know, movie to movie. Yeah. He's going to do seven, eight, nine. Man's in his eighties. He's working. He's, he's working like he, you know, like he's not. Right. And he, you know, he just, he doesn't stop. Yeah. He's working like he's a pup. 
He's he's work. Yeah, you know, he's working like he gives a damn, and I love that. Yeah. Well, I love I love this is this is the thing. He's a genius. He's the best at what he does. He never stopped. He never did. He's stop. not like one of these guys. Like, yeah, I'm just gonna take like a couple of years off. No, he didn't. He never took. He 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 does what he loves. He does. And he loves what he does. What he loves. And he loves what he does. And he he doesn't stop. And, and that's as a, as a person who you know works for a living. <laughs> I love that about him. Well, you know what's weird? Such a great work ethic. I can't wait to stop doing plumbing. So that, <laughs> it, 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 yeah. But you know what? You, you, you're never going to stop doing the collector side. No, but you, you, you know, this is the thing about like plumbing or 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 anything that I do. Yeah. If I do stop, you can bet I'm going to watch somebody do it and then <laughs> criticize their work. <laughs> well, that's true too. That's a whole different story. <laughs> whole different story. But you know, you, you're not going to stop doing. You're going to find something else to do. Yeah. You're not the type that can sit still. No, I can't. For long. No. Every time I'm like, hey, nothing to do on a Saturday. Next thing I know, I'm like ripping out my tiles. There you go. You know? And I'm really not happy about it. But I don't know why I started doing it. No, if you were John Williams, you would just compose a symphony instead. Yeah. You know, like, oh, I'm bored. I'm just going to write some more genius stuff. Yeah. Genius (laughs) stuff. Genius. 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 There we go. But, um, who's, do you know who's doing Rogue One? Um... Oh, you put Did, me on the spot no, no, I'm, now. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to. Ah. Honestly, like, um, but I don't think he's going to be doing the standalone. He is, he's not. You know, he's not doing the standalone. He's only for the episodes. That's that's kind of what I was getting at. Yeah, I, and, I, I didn't mean to put you on the spot. So, so I, the way this goes is that, you know, I think Williams has like right of first refusal. You know, he he can do. All right, Alexandra Desplat is doing Rogue One: A Star Wars Story. Um. And I think he did some work on the Force Awakens too. Oh, cool! Yeah, he's did Harry Harry Potter and Harry Potter and the Def- Deathly Hallows. Um, he's done Secret Life of Pets. So he has a nice resume. Y- yeah, he he's done some stuff. Um, he, he's been around. Yeah, he did Monuments Men. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of um, people in that movie. A lot, a lot of people. John Goodman. Yeah. Bill Murray. Um, Matt, Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Uh, yeah. Um, I forget. There, there was another composer that worked with Williams on... Oh, I feel like an idiot now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I can't remember. Just make up a name. They didn't have names. They didn't have names. Yeah, they, a squid yeah, face. Wal- Walrus Man is yeah. doing this. <laughs> doing the composition. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff here, but I'm not going to look it up right now. Anyways, I'm sure someone will tell us uh, who worked with John Williams on some of the Yeah, composing. let us know, guys. Yeah. So, Williams is doing what he can while he can. And as long as he's in good health, I think he's the guy mm-hmm. to do the episodes. Right. You know, so I think he's doing as much legwork as he can. Yeah. And as as, as far as his energy goes, he's going to do as much as he can. Then he's going to pass it off, as you know. So, I think that anything... If he's not able to do episode 9, then... The whoever takes it on is going to have copious notes and copious writing. Mm-hmm. I really feel like that. Yeah, is is, is going to happen. So that's cool. You know, we're, John Williams' legacy will live on. Oh, absolutely. Like uh, um, like you're saying, like whoever gets it next. I mean, they have beautiful guidelines and a unbelievable cheat sheet of what we want to hear. Yeah, so. yeah. I mean, the themes are are, are established in the first right. one, expanded on the second one, and just driven home in the third one. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, th- these are the important ones. It's great to know he started work on it. Um, man, Williams is, he's unreal. Yeah. He's unreal, you Ma- know? Mastermind. <laughs> World domination. Sounds, sounds like a villain. Yeah. He's not a villain, he's a cool dude. Oh, he is a cool guy. Cool dude, cool dude, man. Yeah, what else we got here? Light week a little bit in Star Wars. Kind of quiet. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the only thing... Is that they showed that other trailer, you know, the international yeah, trailer. The international trailer. Yeah. And it just kind of like what they did with The Force Awakens, you kind of get a little bit more. Yeah, nothing stuff major. Like that. Nothing major. Nothing there there major. wasn't any big, like, reveals or anything no. like that. But you just see a little bit more. You see a little bit. I, I got to tell you, the music stunk. I didn't like the music. The music was no. different. Well, Was that? It's like sirens or something. Was that the si- Was that your sirens? Yeah. Do it again. Boom. 
I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna isolate that. <laughs> yeah. That's that. We're gonna have some fun with that. Oh no. Oh yeah. I wish I never did this. <laughs> what? <laughs> the sirens. This, this podcast. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, I. The, the the music was different on the international trailer, and I thought yeah. it was terrible. Hey, when do you think Saw gets a haircut? Uh, I was like thinking about, do you think it's like when he's talking to Jin and he has hair? Yeah. They're just like uh, exchanging words. So here's the thing. It sounds like Saw and Jin, like a type. They, they, they're they friends. Yeah. You know? Like, I don't think Saw is like in with the rebellion. Like, Jin and Saw are kind of, they're, they're, you know, Saw Guerrero is not the guy in... In, in the U-Wing ready to drop and, and go into battle. He's right. not in that group. Right. You know? He's he's the guy that the Jin knows. Yeah, he has his own plan. He's on the fringe. Hmm. Like us. Right. You know? We're, well, we live on the fringe. Renegades. Renegades. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I am. I, um, I don't know if you feel the same as I do, but uh, I really want there to be something between Jin and Kazian. You're shipping. I, I I want. That's what the kids call it. They call it shipping. When I, you, when you figure that when when you, when you want people to like get together. Oh, that there's a word for that. Yeah, man. I, like relationship. Oh, oh. Shipping. I, now I get it. But I I just want there to be something there. But if there is something there, I don't know how well the end is going to be for these characters. Yeah, they're all they're all gone. Yeah, exactly. That's why it's like it's going to be one of those things. Like maybe there was a beginning to something. But then, boom! <laughs> you, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I, I don't know. There's just something. I, I, I want to see something. What if they're on the Death Star running around at the same time as like Luke, Leia, and Han? Or they're all in the cell blocks? Oh, they're like the next cell block over? <laughs> yeah. Like, hey! <laughs> yeah, they, they, they never get out. <laughs> and then the Death Star blows up. <laughs> so technically, the Rebellion killed them. <laughs> Jeez. That's crazy. Think about it. Who was in that? those cell blocks? Yeah, Kanan, Ezra. Oh my god, you went there. <laughs> I did. Hera, Sabine. Who's in the cell block? Zeb, Cassian, Jin. You know, it's possible. K two S O. He's like, can you let me out? Did they throw droids in jail? Uh, he was thinking for himself. So do I they just reprogram? Like, how do you? What do you do with like? A, a droid that breaks the law. Is there like droid court? They send him to Jabba's palace. He gets tortured. He's above the law. Oh, no. Oh. By 99. Oh, no. That's terrible. Yeah. Remember that, that one droid? No, no, no. And yeah. then, you know, oh, God. Just yeah, burn like his, burn his, his feet. Uh, yeah, ripping his arms off and burning his feet. What I love was, that. What I was going that. on? Did, did Jabba even know? That droid... <laughs> Like, what was what if, going on in his basement? What if he thought that was, like, the droid machine factory? <laughs> like, like, yeah, 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 they're fixing them. <gasps> he might have. Yeah, like, where are all... He needed a new droid. He had to hire C-3PO. He's yeah. like, where are all my droids? They're all broken. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> yeah, there's one sick droid out there ripping everything apart. Yeah. And then there was, like, a, a an octopus guy, like, in jail. Squid Tussock. Yeah. It, no, remember that was, like, a, a tentacle that came out and grabbed 3PO, and he was like, ooh. All right, I'm going to say something right now. I'm going to say something that's going to blow you in. Is that a wrath tar? Whoa. Not as aggressive. Well, he's been in jail. Maybe he's like malnourished or something. Yeah, yeah. What if that was like a dying wrath tar? Mm. Tell but me it's not. Could be. Tell me it's not. And then the Gamorrean god with his stick. <clears throat> yeah. 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 I mean. How horrid. <laughs> so anyways, back, back to Saw Guerrero's hair. Wow, we got so off. Yeah, we're talking about Wrath Towers and Jabba's wow. Palace. And Jabba did it. I, I believe he didn't know what was going on down there. What? All right. He can't oversee all this stuff. I get, he's too busy partying. Yeah. Gangster. Work is hard. The hearts are gangsters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I watched, I, watched a tech, uh, I watched The Phantom Menace this week. Nice. Yeah. I watched yeah. Um, uh, The Force Awakens two nights ago. Nice. I, I like just popping on a Star Wars movie. Yeah. You know, it, you can fall into ruts where you don't, and it's good to just know like you you've watched this hour's movie fresh recently. Yeah, you know it's good stuff. It is. Yeah, you you, you feel or learn anything new this time watching it? No, 
Just having a good time. Yeah. Boom. I just keep... When I watch The Force Awakens, all I keep thinking about is how, like, Kylo knows about the girl. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I keep thinking about that, and I really want to see... But how? Yeah. And how tall Snoke is. Yeah, who is, knows? Is, is he that big, or is he a little guy? Well, I, don't, I, I hope he's bigger. Bigger than the the hologram? Yeah. Whoa. It would be awesome. Like, Colossus. Whoa. You know? Rock, rock me on my dad. Do so. Do something crazy. <laughs> that would be crazy. Do it. You know, that'd be that'd be awesome. Like we pared down the hologram. This is the smallest we can make it for you. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Um. Anyway, so Saw Gerrera's hair. Yeah, Saw Gerrera. I was working up to the. All right, but hold on. But before we get to Saw Gerrera's hair, we're gonna back up. It's almost like Inception. We're gonna like back up to the next dream. Um, Ed ninety nine. You know what? He's talking about disintegrating droids, and he points to one. That's just like like in, in shambles. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know about you, but I always thought disintegrating was like, like 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 almost like vaporizing, right? You know, not like disintegrating, like like removing the integration of the fuck of the arms. Yeah, I didn't think it was like that. Right. Uh, I don't know. Like. <laughs> Like, like, what are they doing? Like, disintegrating? Like, I'm like, I figured it would be, like, it, it was like vaporizing. Right. Well, I don't know. Did you ever think about that? Uh, not, uh, not in depth as what you just did. But and I, now you will. Yeah, well. And now you, you will. You know, it, it, I just didn't understand what was going on. It was like they were just destroying and torturing droids. And then he's like, you'll certainly learn some respect in the master seal by <laughs> you're yeah. a feisty little one yeah it's yeah. like what, what do you mean they just came how do, you don't know him what i do you think mean he's I, feisty like, i think what? archie swore at him i think yeah you know though those beep and bops yeah I, i'm i i think he was swearing a lot yeah you know kenny had a zest for life right yeah <laughs> you like to party you're right he definitely had, a, had you know there's many legendary stories about kenny baker a lot of those beeps yeah could have meant something else. Yeah, they 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 could be interpreted in many different languages. Right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and I think R2 definitely, you know, he told people where to go if he needed to. Mm -hmm. For sure. He was a feisty one. He was a feisty one. That's how he, he survived. He got the job done all the time. Always came through. He's the biggest hero in Star Wars. Yeah. From episode one to episode seven. He waited until everyone fell asleep and took off to find Ben. Yeah. <laughs> Stayed on target. He, yeah. got, he followed that mission out. Exactly. He tricked everyone too. He, he tricked people. <laughs> he would trick people. He's like, oh, I don't know. Well, I gotta go. Yeah. I gotta go. Don't worry. Gotta, gotta do some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, what are you talking about? Right. <laughs> mission. What mission? Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I just gotta find this guy. He's a good guy. Yeah. He's a good guy. Yeah. I don't know. I don't remember owning any droid. Yeah. He's like, we're best friends. What do you mean? It was like, how many years? We were, it was like was 20, that? 20 years. 20? I would remember that. I ran into a dude uh, I I was like really close with in, in college last weekend. 16 years, didn't recognize me at all. Really? Yeah. Did you recognize him? Yeah. Oh, well. So, all you had to do was say, "Hey." I did that. I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, we we hung out like like every day." Yeah. I'm sure he got it after that. Oh, yeah, we, oh, it was awesome. Right. It was awesome catching up with him. I miss the guy. He was an awesome guy. Mm -hmm. But it's funny. So, you know, it just goes to show you in this movie, like, I could see Obi-Wan not recognizing the droid. 20 years. Well, especially this, it seems to be a lot of droids around. Yeah. So, and and then again, he was probably thinking there's no way this astromech could have survived. Exactly. Maybe that, maybe that's kind you of You know more... what I looked at? In Phantom Menace, there is an identical looking R2-D2 mm -hmm. that gets blown away. Oh, dude, they drop like flies. He's an identical blue and white there's a blue, R2. Really? There's, a bl there's another blue and white R2 unit. You know something? I, I like popping in episode one from time to time. Episode one's really good. Yeah. It is fun. But there are force powers in that movie you never see again. Yeah. It's, it's a it, stalemate. Let's go. It's, it's a, it, it, They're all just good movies. I, I love popping yeah, them. Yeah. They're, they're all good in their own way. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... It, 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 it all depends on how the mood strikes me. Attack of the Clones. I'm I'm getting ready for some Attack of the Clones, I gotta tell you. Dude, the Geonosis scene is amazing. I'm gonna rock out on Attack of the Clones pretty soon. Mm -hmm. It's gonna it's gonna be a great time. Yeah. I'm gonna rock out like 2002. We're gonna get into a good old mystery story. Isn't that amazing? 2002. Yeah. 2002. Wow. 
Hayden Christensen. Yeah. You know? Awesome. Yeah. Awesome at being awkward. Mm. Like, Anakin is so awkward in that movie. But that's what it was meant to be. Exactly. Nailed it. Nailed it. Completely. That's why it's like, listen, he was doing what he was supposed to be doing. He rocked it. We were all, we all were awkward at one point of our lives, and he nailed that. Hey, imagine if you didn't talk to a girl till you were like 20. Right. You met one girl when you were 10. You thought about her for 10 years. You had no interaction. Didn't didn't know the first thing about dating or love. You haven't even talked to your mother. Right. You know? Joe, I don't even know how to talk to my wife sometimes. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. so do you want to get like food? I don't I don't know. I, I, I don't know how to talk. You kidding me? Yeah. I'm, I'm, bar- I'm barely standing. We're barely hanging on at this point. <laughs> We're grasping for threads. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Thippy thip. <laughs> seltzer. Mm. Spiked seltzer. Spiked seltzer. Anyways, I say all this to say that I think that Saw Gerrera's hair might be a flashback. Oh my god, we got off of that again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe it's like the beginning, and then they're like, then she's like, hey, Saw, we're, we're going in full throttle. And he's yeah. like, I'm going to I'm gonna get a haircut first. Because in, in the um, in the celebration like like footage that mm. was released, there's a little girl that's jumping, right? People might th- there is if you look at it. There's a little girl that's like jumping off a cliff in like a really rocky area, and some people have speculated it might be a young Jin Erso, and that's why the Death Troopers holding that that doll. Ah, ah, okay. And maybe she knew Saw Gerrera at that time, and he was uh, you know, I, rocking that rocking that bald look. Yeah, I, I feel like they have some kind of relationship. Like they, they know do. each other. They, 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 they're friends. Possibly work together. They work I, together I, on the fringe, right? right? Right. You know that that's who she's hanging with when before she gets into all that trouble. Right. You know, before she enlists with like the good, you know, the true the true blue, pure white, Rebel Alliance. Oh yeah. Hey, you know who they're saying that 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 English bald guy is? The like, balding guy, uh, who's like talking to her. Uh, and next to Mon Mothma. Will we trust her when we take our shackles off that guy? Yeah, that guy. You know what they're saying? I heard, and I'm really excited, and I really hope it's true. No one knows. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm, this is a theory. It's a, it, Yeah, yeah, this is a theory. We, we don't, don't know anything. We don't anything. go into things like this. We yeah. don't, don't Nothing substantiated. Th- yeah, this isn't a spoiler because we don't know No, this is a theory. It. It's a theory. It ended at theory. Callous. Yes. Yeah. Now, when I heard this... It makes sense. First, I was like, no way. I was like, no way. Yeah, but now every time I see this guy, I'm like, Kelly. Hey, hey, hey. Yo. It would be too obvious if they had the the pork chops. You yeah. Know, the sideburns. I mean, I feel like once he defects from the from the Empire. He's going to. The, the burns go. Yeah. Yeah. The, you know? The gears are turning. He's going to be leaving. He, yeah. I mean, I feel like he wants to hang out with Zeb a little bit. Mm-hmm. It'll be a good time, too. Right. Well, yeah. if he shows up with cut sleeves. <laughs> Dude, we get cut sleeves. Yeah. Brothers for life. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely. That'll, that'll be awesome. I, I I actually really want to see that. I want to see some kind of tie-in with uh, Rebels with Rogue One. I, yeah. I, I want some tie-ins. I, I want... Well, uh, they're too close in the timeline not to. Exactly. And I think they're holding that stuff very close to the chest. Oh, yeah. Yeah, totally. They should. I mean, the fact, this is why there's a great hope in this. We're getting Saw Gerrera. Yeah. So, but that's Clone Wars going back five years. Exactly. So if we're getting something, you know, a throwback like that, yeah. there's a good chance that somebody's going to be mentioned or we might see somebody. I mean, I, I really hope they're that forward thinking, mm. right? I, I would like to think so. I mean, everything that we've been seeing lately, Gareth Edwards is amazing. Yeah. Um, This movie... Looks amazing. I'm excited for it. Yeah. I mean, it really does look good. I hate stating the obvious like that. Yeah. Like, hey, this movie looks amazing. Wow. Yeah, no crap, Chris. It does look amazing. I get it. No, but it looks amazing. It does. It really does. Good stuff. And and uh, it it we're gonna have such a great time talking about it. Mm-hmm. It's gonna feel. I feel like it's gonna feel like coming home. Um. Yes. I wonder what secrets are, are still lie within Rogue One. Right. What I feel like we don't know what we don't know at this point. Yes. There's a lot to discover in the story of how the Death Star plans 
And I feel like what we know is only scratching the surface. Yeah, yeah absolutely. But th- I don't think that's a point that people have really thought about very well, very much. Like, oh, yeah, we're going to get the story. And we're all pretty sure how it's going to go. There's going to be this fight. We're going to get the plans. It's done. Yeah. I think it's more like, here's a little bit. And we have a whole bunch more to show, to like to reveal to you yeah. when it's movie time. And yeah, whoa, you you don't even know the half of it. Well, I would like to think that we're gonna get probably one more trailer before the movie drops. But that won't even tell you. That won't even tell you. It won't. But it'll show us just just that little bit more. Yeah. But um, I mean, we know that they get the plans. Well, well, yeah. But it's how they get them. What happens in between? And it's going to be really exciting. What's up with that upside down Death Star? Exactly. Is it really just perspective? Now, is there something else going on there? I asked, well, when I went into work, I showed old man Mike yeah. this, and um, he said something very brilliant. Okay. He was I, like, I'm curious. Well, what, what is right side up in space or whatever? Okay. He yeah, said yeah, something yeah. like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. I've and heard I, that a million times yeah, this week. And, and I was like, I didn't think of that. So okay. that's a good point. So maybe we're just looking at it differently. I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. So here we are up against what Star Wars has always been and what Star Wars is might become, right? Because what will you become? What will you become? Um. So Star Wars has always had an up and a down. They've never done this whole like, oh, every, there's no... You know, direction can be anywhere in space. It's all yeah, relative. We're looking at it sideways. Yeah, like like they've never done that. Right. Everything has an up and a down because Lucas understood they didn't want to confuse people with a visual shot that was contorted in that way. You always understood the up and the down when Lucas shot a film. And I don't know if to derive to derivate from that that course. Is the is something they they'd be so bold in doing? Mm-hmm. Well, Gareth Edwards said that he wanted to push the envelope a little bit. Yes, yes. So thinking outside the box might be his specialty. Well, I think they did that, but it's it's a weird shot to put in a trailer at that point. Then yeah, because you're eventually gonna have to twist it upside down. I I don't know. It, it's it's a weird thing to show. I mean, it's definitely thought provoking. Definitely making you think. Right. It's likely that's what it is. It's likely, oh yeah, it's just a weird perspective shot because there's no up and down, right? Mm-hmm. But there are other ideas. There are other ideas out there. Chris, what if that's what if that's another Death Star? Whoa, two? Yeah. Chris, what if that's the Death Star from Return of the Jedi? Where do they get the funding? They they make money. They just take what they want. They collect all tax money from all these planets. I'm gonna re- I'm gonna repeat this one more time. What if that's the Death Star from Return of the Jedi? Yeah, but it's full. Chris, what if in Rogue One they blast off that bottom part with the dishes? Okay, I see what you're getting at. You see what I'm getting at? Yeah. So 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 the dish is gone on the bottom, and you get that. That that whole craggy part from from Return of the Jedi. But there's a dish in Return of the Jedi. There's a dish on top, you know, because mm-hmm. they're repairing it and they, they can't make it in the same place anymore. So they're spending all these years repairing the Death Star they 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 made because starting from scratch is crazy. I mean, th- it took twenty years to make the first Death Star. Twenty years. It they starting it at the beginning at the end of episode three. Right, they had the blueprints at the end of Attack of the Clones. They had the blueprints then. You you see the superstructure at the very end of episode three. Right. What what's I mean? I would like to think that the rebellion would know that they're building too. How do they know? What put it this way? What if they did know? They're not like they. Just because we didn't know they didn't know doesn't mean that it, it wasn't true. Joe, we're part of the rebellion. Well, it's true. Yeah, but, but you know. We know what they know. The top brass <laughs> in the rebellion didn't tell everyone anything. It's a need to know basis, right? Mm hmm. A New Hope and Empire Strike Back move the exact same way, knowing there's two Death Stars out there from the, from the get go, right? That- I looked at the crawl 
And all it says is, little does Luke know, the Empire has started construction on a, on a second Death Star. It's just constructing a second one. Not like a new. Yeah. A second. Yeah, like, yeah, they're starting one because, you know, at the be- right before A New Hope, they they ruined one of them. And let's say that that was ruined for a while and they, they hadn't really, they didn't really know what to do with it. The first one? Yeah. Like the one, the, the upside down one. Oh, okay. They didn't know what to do with it. And then after the, after the first Death Star got blown up, they're like, well, we got this husk of a one that got blown up too, but it's salvageable. It's salvageable. Let's salvage it and, 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 and do what we can with it. That's why there's no bottom half of it. What if that is what we're looking at with the upside down Death Star? That would be pretty wild. It's pretty wild. I had this thought. Listen, it's on the fringe, right? This may not happen. It may be crazy. But I'm trying to think outside the box here. What's crazy is that <laughs> That's not crazy. What's crazy is this. No, no, but uh so we have a we have the Death Star. And uh yeah. in, in this movie, usually, you know, the, the good guys win. We know that this Death Star is going nowhere. Going nowhere. You know, it's th- that's what that's what's making this uh, this epic war movie. Yeah, so epic. That's true. You know, it's uh it's building towards something. Like, even though they're gonna get the plans off, will the Empire have like the last laugh in this movie? You know what I mean? Will yeah. it end on a down note, but a good note because the plans are getting sent away? Well, yeah. The, here's the thing. It's like the 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 Jedi. The, the, I mean, okay. The beginning of A New Hope says the rebellion has just won their first battle, mm. so it ends on a high note for the rebellion. Does it end on a high note for the characters in Rogue One? For our friends. For our friend. They're, they're our friends now. Yes, we know them personally. Yeah, that's true. Does it though? We does don't it? like to showboat who we know, who we don't know. Yeah, really? Are you sure? We know a few people. We know a few people. We've yeah. been around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm Keith DeWinter, and I play Goss. Hi, this is Felix Silla. You are Hi, this is Mike Carter. I play Hi, I'm Natalie Kuznav. Hello, this is Paul Blake. Green. Good morning, world. This is Jerome Blake. I played Opo Rancisis. Hey, it's Greg Grunberg. Hello, this is... Hi, this is Femi Taylor. Hello, this is Mess Mickelson from Star Wars Rogue One. And- yeah, so, you know, we don't like to showboat. A few people. A few people. A few. We don't like to showboat, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's just that's just the tip, man. You know, and, uh, well, you know, the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. Wow. What are we doing? It's time for a thippy thip. Thippy thip. Thippy thip. <laughs> Th the beef. We should watch Cable Guy. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Oh yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. I like I like to dance. That was a good dance. Yeah. Hey, you know what time it is? I think I might know. Really? Are you sure? Are you sure you know what time it is? Yeah. Need him, got him time. Need him, got him. Need him, got him. Chris. Yeah, you got some stuff. I got some things. The final bit of the convention figures. Residual bits and Residually pieces. bits have come to me. <laughs> I get the Kylo Ren. This is a great one. He's right here. He's right here. That's the Velcro from the be- from from the cover. And uh man, it's a good figure. It's a good looking figure. I have to say. The display is great. The display is beautiful. Uh the light table looks fantastic. Greatly improved. 
Um, the helmets look good. You can he comes master on master. They have the the melted Darth Vader helmet, which they said was like one of the hardest pieces to mold. Really? Yeah. Super. I mean, look at it. Look at all the oh, there's a ton of detail. Div- divots and everything. I like the uh, the little first sort of flag. Yeah. It, it's a great it's a great piece. I mean, I'd like to take them out, but you like this is a piece you almost don't need to. Right. Well, they, yeah, exactly. They made it so you don't even have to. I don't know. I, I'm going to see how it goes. I would say leave it in the package. At least for now. Mm-hmm. At least for now, it's staying in. Yeah. But I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. He may he may have to come out. This figure will be released in a wave, but if, obviously without, like, you know, the first sort of flag, the melted fader helmet. I'll probably get it then and open that one up. Exactly. Yeah. It's true. It's true. Yeah, I do like this. I do like this figure a lot. The packaging's fantastic. Oh, look at that! I have the, uh, I have the oh, European. Yeah. I have, I have the European warnings on it. Whoa! Attention, warning, Achtung. Yeah, I got, I got all the, all the international. On oh, that, that's that's good stuff. That's I love good the stuff. image on the front. He's like screaming. Oh yeah, traitor! It looks like that part. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it, it just hit me. We're gonna get more of this. I know. We're gonna. All the stories are gonna unfold. Yeah, yeah. I also got that that Hot Wheels prototype Boba Fett Hot Wheels car. This is cool because the protective case that it comes in, it's almost impossible for you to destroy that. Yeah, I mean, it got it got from the UK to here. Well, it's not one Mint. of those things that you can just pop open either. You would have to cut that open. Yeah, big time. Uh, looks great. Great figure. Um, uh, figure, great car. Uh, I don't know. I, I like it. I got, I got more prototype Boba Fett stuff. Yeah, it's always good. Add it to the collection. Add it to the collection, and you know, just to, I'll say it again. If you want to, you know, follow a great Twitter account about the prototype Boba Fett at White Boba Fett. Oh yeah, yeah, great, great Twitter account. Great guys. They uh, you know, they track everything prototype Boba Fett. Right. You know. You want to learn anything about him in, in the the white armor, whether it's Macquarie, whether it's uh, you know, droids, the droids version, whether it's a holiday special version, oh, whether yeah. whether it's just the uh, the prototype armor, uh, you know, it, it's it's all there. Right. Check it out. Yeah, good stuff. Oh man! All right. So, did you hear about Disney fire uh, filing a lightsaber patent? No. So the. the they filed a patent. I mean, patents are patents. You know, you don't. They could go anyway with this. It, it could amount to nothing. Could amount to something. They they've filed a patent for technology to have a have like a or an area where you'd hold something and a lightsaber would be projected onto the hilt of your sword. Really? Yeah. So it's like you'd you'd be in like a fogged up room, you know. Oh, I see. Yeah, so so the the actual blade isn't coming out of the the hilt, but it's being projected onto it. So it's kind of like if you have a um, you know, like a, a laser pointer or a hologram or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you spray like hairspray. You yeah, can I don't see it. exactly. But or, I, I don't or powder or whatever. But the thing is, I, I don't know what the deal is with limiting that. So it's not like you know, just a line that goes on forever. It's they, they have to do something to limit it, right? I was. So I'm, I'm thinking maybe like a hologram of some sort. I don't know. I was talking to one of the guys at work, and do you think, with a lightsaber, do you think you can cut through things easily, or is there some kind of restriction, like that you have to kind of like work through it? Now, I also brought to his attention, when they cut through people, it seems pretty easily. Yeah. But then I always think of that scene in episode one with Qui-Gon Jinn with the the door, and he was like really working at it. Different materials. Mm. Different materials. I feel like um, anything organic, it's like a hot knife through butter. Yeah. You know, you put any force into it, you swing it like a baseball bat, going right through. Yeah. Uh, but with like metals and things like that, well, I mean, it's weird because some metals, it, it goes right through. You know? Yeah, like the um, the droids. Yeah, goes Slice right through. And dice. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I don't know. I, I the way Qui Gon did it was weird. It was very thick. It wasn't like a thin metal. Yeah, there was like three doors, glass yeah. doors. Yeah, it was. It was like eight feet wide, and he was cutting a hole. Mm. 
And uh, the holes t- seem to take a while when you, when you cut through that really thick metal. But uh, I, I guess the slashing across all depends on how, how you're cutting it, right? Um, I feel like if, 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 if you want to slash something from end to end, you can do that. But if you're trying to like, like, like bore a hole through, like different type of tool, right? Like you need a drill for that. If you're trying to drill with a lightsaber, mm. it takes a while right. to cut through and then like use it like a router on the sides. Mm. That takes a while. But if you're, if you're using it like a, like a knife, like cutting right through something, swinging, that's quick. Right. Got it. Bingo. Mechanics. Bingo, bango. Bingo, bango, bongo. <laughs> What are we doing? I, so, I don't any, know. anyways, this lightsaber thing. So, you get, you're in a room, and it, it's you got like the mist and like creating this lightsaber beam. Then you get these like other things that are firing lasers at you, and you can deflect them no. using the beam. When's this coming out? It, it may never come out. It, it's just a patent. They they have the they have the technology to do what they're saying. They have the technology. To they do patented it. some technology. They patented the idea. It's Disney. I feel it's like Disney. if they want it, they can make it. It's a patent. They have the idea first. You write the idea down, and then you make it afterwards. Right. So that's how they did. They patented the idea. They have a, they have an idea of how it would work, and they patented it. They make they say they file a lot of patents every year. Who knows what they do with them? Sometimes they never do anything. Well, the important question is: Will you buy it? Uh, if it's something to be bought, yes. Yes. I'm still waiting for the real lightsaber to be made. Yeah, I would buy that. Yeah, I would totally it, buy it, it. It's really dangerous. Yeah. Because I'll tell you this right now. I mean, you're either going to be a Jedi or a Sith. <laughs> you're not going to use it for anything else. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. I mean, is, is is a lightsaber even good if you don't have the Force? I feel like they go hand in hand, right? Well, well we first saw Finn... If he had a lightsaber, it is yeah. not force sensitive at all. Hey, he looked pretty cool. Yeah, he held his own. He he got schooled though. He did. Oh yeah. I mean, he held his own against a uh, traitor, mm-hmm. but I don't know. He got schooled. Right. It's kind of tough. Finn had a tough day. The Force Awakens all about Finn's tough day. Yeah. He had a rough day that day. So one of the last things, Star Wars Cantina is uh. A cantina bar is like popping up in Hollywood soon. Like actual cantina. Like a restaurant? Yeah, I guess like a pop-up bar. They're going to make a bar you can go to. The Star Wars Cantina. Just in Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I hope it's in Star Wars land as well. I don't know. It's it just like a thing they're going to do. Are people going to be in like character and all that? I, I hope so. Me too. I mean... It'd be stupid to just go to like the cantina, like like a bar built like the cantina, and there's like no war. Yeah. And like Tonica sisters, and like I want all the guy. I want Wolfman there. Yeah, like droids aren't allowed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you walk in with a droid, like we don't serve their kind. Yeah. You know. And there's like little bat guys drinking beer. Yeah, I want that guy there. Yeah. He I needs want to be there. I want Muff Tech. Yeah. Hammerhead. I want I want the vampire guy there. Yeah. He's like. Eh. I want the old, the the old like the death looking guy. I want that weird snake thing from the ceiling. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I want. Uh, I don't know. I I want Doctor Wal- Evazan. Walrus man. Walrus man. I want them there. I want. I want. <laughs> <laughs> I want a lot of stuff. I want Snaggletooth. I want. Uh, I want Han Solo and Chewbacca hanging out. A Greedo there. You know, I want there to be a do back outside going. That would be cool. I want that. Do you want to tug on the bartender's arm and be like, give me a, give me a drink? Absolutely. I want IG-88 heads. Yeah. Behind the bar. Uh, Yeah. That's about it. And I also want to cut off Walrus Man's hand. Yeah. With a lightsaber. This guy, he has like a, a face like a ghost. <laughs> yeah, the, the ghost scream guy. Yeah, scream guy. Scream guy. What? I forgot about scream guy. <laughs> <laughs> I want. I want the guy with the weird, ugly like nose, like smoking on something. Oh yeah. Well, you need the band. He was like a spy. Oh, the band. The band. Oh my god, the band. The Bith band. Bigger and Dan, the modal nodes. Yeah. 
I want that. You need them. You need them, got them. You need them at the bar. You know? Mm-hmm. If you don't have all of those things, I don't want to go. I'm saying <laughs> it. All, everything we just mentioned. It's a pretty uh, good laundry list. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But you know something? If you're going to do it, do it. No, no, if it's it's if it's worth doing, it's worth doing right. Yeah. <laughs> so you might as well just make it. Exactly. Do back and all. Yeah. Ooh. Get a do back, will you? Get the do back. Look at you, rocking on a guitar. Air guitar and over here. Oh, man, we had we had a lot of good stuff. There was good, good stuff. Good stuff tonight, you know? Tonight. Bingo. Determination. <laughs> <laughs> we made it through. We had a good time. Thank you guys so much for listening to Bruising Blasters. We had a great time. Hope you did, too. Email us, bruisingblasters at retrozap.com. We want to hear from you. We want to know... What's going on in your world? Your world. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of, the, of what we talked about? Let's just chat. Yeah. We just like to hang. Yeah. What are you eating? Yeah. Oh, that that is true. We yeah. want to know what you're eating. Yeah. Yeah. If you had a good meal, we want to know about it. If you like what we... <laughs> <laughs> if you, if you like... <laughs> if you like what we're eating... <laughs> If you like what we're eating, we want we want to hear about it too. Uh, yeah, let's talk about let's talk about cold cuts <laughs> <laughs> and Star Wars. You know, you, you like what we're talking about Star Wars? Let's talk about Star Wars too. Now, you know, speaking of that, don't get to go to retrozap.com for uh, you know everything else. We got tons of great stuff going on over there. And if you you know you think you you, you got what it takes to join retrozap, retrozap.com slash join. Boom. Don't forget about the Retrozap Podcast Network. We're growing and growing strong. We have tons of great stuff over there. Coyote Monday. It's a holiday. We invented it. Every Monday. Every Monday. Celebrate Star Wars. Celebrate Coyote Monday. Celebrate being cool. CoyoteMonday.com. Roku Depot is the place to go for all the reviews of podcasts that you need. True that. Jedi News is the place to go for all of your Jedi news. <laughs> and Star Wars news, of course. All right. Don't forget about CollectorsHut.com, Chris Salton's place. Hey, guys. <laughs> For all of his amazing collecting reviews. All right, man. We've had a good show. I don't know. Last words? We love you, Kenny. We love you, Kenny. We love you for listening, too. We do. We do. Not in love. Just let us know what you're eating. But yeah. That's what we're talking about. You know? You get- oh, jeez. What do we do? Run it again? <laughs> Man, Play that same song. Wait, we're going for it. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, we, we have more to talk about, yeah. We have a lot to talk yeah, about. We get more. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I've been cutting back this week. Yeah? You know, there's no Red Bull. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> right. Hey, I, I've been crushing sandwiches at New Deal. Really? Did you get the top shelf I, yet? I didn't. I didn't get it. I, I've been oh. hooked on the Revere Tornado. <laughs> What's in the Revere Tornado? It's an Italian sub. Now, they have a tomato salad, right? Yeah. It's tomatoes, carrots, celery, onions, all this stuff loaded with oil. Yeah. They just, they super punch it in the sub. They punch it in. Yeah, they punch it in. They it's, smash they, it. Yeah, they smash it in there. It, now, that's, that's on the bread. Yeah. All and right, that's good. It stays very well, very messy, delicious. Okay. What, what about the meat? What's in the meat? Oh, it, regular Italian. Okay, yeah, it's regular Italian with this this tomato salad. It's all smushed in there. Yeah. It's good stuff. All right, all right. That's not bad. You got to get the top shelf. I do. You know Can what? you get it tomorrow? Well, I was... Actually, we're going to Tides. Oh, man. If my boss is listening, now's the time to shut it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to Tides. Really? Steak bomb. Dude, the t- Tides is a great place. Overlooking the Nahant, right? Yeah. I love it. Like, it Overlooking the beach. If it's warm, I'm sitting on the deck. The, oh, that deck is amazing. They got good food there. We love the tides. We do. Yeah, good place. 
We never gone to the tides together. No, we haven't. I only went twice. I love the tides. Yeah, Good twice time. in my whole life. They they have great fried fish there. Uh, great fried fri- fisherman's platter. Oh, uh, yeah. Admiral Aqua, <laughs> poor guy. Oh, you're right. You're right, but it's good stuff. Yeah, I don't know, man. I've, been, I've just been eating these ham sandwiches all day. Nice. Yeah, ham sandwiches. Well, you can't go wrong with that. Uh, like Black Forest ham? No. Just ham? Just ham sandwiches. Any cheese? Yeah. Nice. Oh, Swiss cheese. Oh, nice. Yeah, not bad. I like Swiss. I don't know. Are we, we recording? Yeah. <laughs> this is a sign-off for the show. <laughs> this is how we're signing off tonight. Oh, hey, guys. Hey, guys. It's good time. Well, sure. we probably made you nice and hungry. Yeah. So go get a sandwich, will you? Go ya? get a sandwich, will you? And tell it's us good. about it. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Brews and Blasters at RetroZap.com. We want to hear from you. We want to know what you're eating. We want to know what you think about Star Wars. You know. Don't go to us on social either. Brews and Blaster, leave off the S. RetroZap at a PED. Joey Wan Kenobi, Chris Salton, Collector's Hut. That's where it is. That's where it's at. See you guys later. Tell the Kanji Club. I'm afraid the party's canceled. The summer's never show. Clutch!